India, the United Nations, has condemned the recent ballistic missile launch by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Ruchira Kamboj. The permanent representative at the UN said, and I quote, These launches constitute a violation of resolutions of Security Council relating to the DPRK. They affect the peace and security of the region and beyond. I'm crossing back over to our foreign affairs correspondent, Abhishek Jha, to get us more context. Abhishek, over to you. Of course, uh, there was this United Nations Security Council's open briefing on North Korea. Uh, and in the wake of latest intercontinental ballistic missile that uh, North Korea has fired and tested. And uh, like most of the member, uh, India was also not happy with this latest launching spree of North Korea. In fact, uh, India's permanent representative, Ruchi Rakambos, in his in very clear word, words said that India calls for full implementation of relevant UN Security Council resolution relating to DPRK. But before that, uh, she said that uh, the launches constitute a violation of the resolution of the Security Council and India condemns it. Uh, he has uh, asked for this uh, whole UN Security Council uh, resolution to be uh, on uh, on uh, DPRK to be to go back on that. Uh, and uh, this is something that North Korea is not getting support from any anybody. We have seen the the last major. Uh, is firing that North Korea has done was an intercontinental ballistic missile that had a capacity to go beyond 15,000 kilometers. And during the test trial, it flew at a height of almost 6,000 kilometers for 1,000 kilometers and covered a distance of 1,000 kilometers. And it flew at a distance at a speed of 22 max, which is almost 26,000 kilometers per hour. So it was kind of a missile that could hit any part of the world except some Latin American countries, uh, if fired from North Korea's own territory. So it was clearly a concern for not only USA, uh, but a concern for whole, all of the world because the kind of dictatorial uh, regime North Korea has, the kind of authoritative regime North Korea has, mm -hmm. uh, it, it has to be very careful because such arsenal or such ballistic missile, which has a capacity uh, and they're, the way they are designed to carry nuclear warhead or biological or chemical weapon far across the world, uh, it would be very uh, difficult uh, for any other country to think that a country uh, like North Korea has such a capacity and has such a weapon that can be used against them at any point of time. Valid points, Abhishek. I'd like you